Filipinos are one of the happiest people you will ever meet. They love gatherings and having a good time. Food is an important part of the Filipino culture. Multiple cultures influence the Filipino cuisine like the Spanish, Chinese and Indian. Eating is a favorite Filipino pastime. A typical Filipino diet consists at most of six meals a day, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, and again a midnight snack before going to sleep. Yes, that many. Every province has its own specialty and tastes vary in each region. Western and local food chains are a common sight in the country. But when you visit a country people will often bring you to one of their most favored spots to get their street foods from. This might be considered as one of their best tourist destinations because for them introducing these different types of street foods to visiting friends is given utmost importance. Food bazaars are found mostly alongside the streets and this is where you will get the authentic taste of the Filipino cuisine. Filipinos are known to be thrifty people so wasting food is a big no for them. This where you will see their ingenuity from. In fact a whole pig is all used when they prepare for their fiestas or other gatherings. Its whole head, the entrails, the feet and even the blood. Same goes with the chicken, nothing is wasted, even the feathers but obviously not eaten. These bits and pieces of unwanted meat are mostly what you will find sold as street foods. These undesirable parts are turned into something incredibly tasty and unbelievably cheap food. So here we go, let us now discover the top 10 most common street foods in the Philippines. First on our list. Chicken intestines. Let us begin with the most popular amongst all the street foods in the Philippines. These are grilled or deep fried intestines of chicken. It is thoroughly cleaned and coiled onto a skewer. The chicken intestine are like small sausages. They become more flavorful when dipped in a combination of vinegar, garlic, onions and spicy peppers. Number 2. Chicken and Pig's Blood. This snack is not for the faint of heart. This is pig or chicken blood that has been coagulated and cut into cubes then skewered for grilling. This is said to have no foul smell or taste, it is like a blank canvas so most marinate them in a spicy vinegar dipping sauce to achieve a tasty flavor. Not many will give this a try knowing that this is blood but this is very cheap and many love this street food as well. Number 3. Chicken Feet. Filipino street food vendors have coined various street food with fun and corky names like this one. As we all know Adidas is a brand for shoes but when you hit the streets of the Philippines Adidas is known as chicken feet. This is usually grilled but some also prefer them cooked adobo style, a popular Filipino dish that is cooked in garlic and soy sauce. These are very cheap eats you can find alongside the streets in the country. Number 4. Fertilized Duck Egg. Not everyone is willing to give this food a go. This is fertilized egg embryo of a duck that has either been boiled or steamed. It is a cheap source of protein and calcium that has been introduced by the Chinese to the Philippines. This is usually eaten with a little bit of salt or vinegar, or both, whichever you prefer. It has been said that for first timers, they are advised to eat this in a duck unlit place so that you won't be able to see the tiny duck inside the egg and it will be easier to swallow. The whole egg is eaten along with the juice, the yellow yolk, and the tiny duck which is sometimes complete with a beak, its tiny feet and yes, feathers. So this is not everyone's cup of tea. Fifth on our list. Quailed eggs, or well known as quay quay. Another egg dish but this one is easier to swallow. This is just boiled egg usually quail but some use chicken's egg as well. This is covered in an orange batter and then deep fried. Dip it in a spicy vinegar sauce and it can easily become a favorite. This is mostly sold outside of schools and a favorite afternoon snacks for students. Number 6. Fish Ball, Kikiam squid balls. These scrumptious deep-fried balls are notably popular among the Filipinos. 
These are also usually sold outside of schools and along the streets. Usually sold in a cart with a bicycle so people usually watch out for them as they pass by. Fish balls are made from ground up fish, flour and extenders, they are shaped like small discs. Kikiam is ground up meat with vegetables and fillers as well, these are brown in color and are shaped like a finger. Squid balls are made of squid and shaped into a ball. These are all deep fried and are perfect when dipped in the special sauce. There are a variety of sauces but some just prefer to combine them all together. Number 7. Pork Barbecue, Pig Ears, and Pig Tongue. The smell of char-grilled meat is common in the streets of the Philippines. People love barbecues, from the usual pork meat and fat to the more bizarre ones like pig ears and pig tongue. These are all skewered onto a steak and grilled to perfection. Pair it up with a spicy vinegar dipping sauce and you are in barbecue heaven. Number 8. Squid Ring. These are deep fried squid covered in a crispy flour batter and dipped in vinegar. These can also be found in restaurants as they are also a popular appetizer in the Philippines. Number 9. Chicken Head. As I have mentioned before Filipinos don't like wasting food. A grilled whole chicken head is fondly called helmet and is a popular snack as well. This is definitely one of the strange ones you'll find next to a barbecue stand in the Philippines. Number 10. Pork, or chicken rinds. Commonly known as chicharan. One of the best yet deadly snacks in the Philippines. Now, why deadly? Because this food is made out of deep fried pork rinds but sometimes beef, buffalo or chicken skin can be used, which means it's high in cholesterol. Now why best? Because it tastes so good, it's addictive. It is a common beer match in the Philippines which makes it even worse and I guess it's one of those bad eating habits of Filipinos where they eat toily snacks such as this one while having some happy hour with friends. Here are some interesting origins about the street food in the Philippines. The popularity of Inihla owes out of need. When an economic crisis hit the country in the 1970s, people were driven to find ways to save money. Less favorable animal parts including pig's ears and intestines were carefully cleaned before being skewered and grilled on coals. To make these less palatable cuts of meat more appealing, vendors came up with cute names to help sell them to the public. Rectangular blocks of congealed pig's blood were called Betamax, skewered chicken heads were known as a helmet, and grilled pig's ears were referred to as Walkman, funny names which have endured to this day. I hope you enjoy this video, thank you for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.